what is up YouTube what is up what is up everyone so hope everybody has had a good trading week so far I know I have caught some uh, good moves on Bitcoin and a nice little buy on euro GBP this week for about uh, 40 pips or so but um yeah but uh today's video I want to go over a uh, a widely confusing topic I guess you could say about liquidity so first off what is liquidity like what when you hear liquidity what should you think of well for me personally when when I think of liquidity I think of you know like a magnet where where could the market possibly you know pull itself to or or where could the market possibly go <clears throat> right so I look at it like a magnet right so the reason I I I say that it's like a magnet is because if we look at this PDF that I made over here, liquidity, right? The Forex market is a zero sum game. So basically what that means, right, is if there's one person selling, right, there has to be another person on the other side of the market, right? They, there, there has to be somebody buying if you're selling, right? So where, where, you know, the liquidity is defined by stop losses and not only stop losses, um, pending orders, right? So we, we need to think of the market, you know, what magnetizes toward the market, right? So there's two types of liquidity in the Forex market and is buy side liquidity and sell side liquidity. So now there's forms inside of these forms, right? So inside of buy side liquidity and inside of sell side liquidity, right? So if we look at this, right? Buy side liquidity would be, excuse me, buy side liquidity would be um, sell stop losses, right? And um, uh, buy stops, right? BS, <laughs> buy stops, right? And we'll go over that here in, here in, here in a second. But uh, yeah, and then sell side liquidity would be, you know, um, sell stops and uh, buy stop losses. But yeah, that, that will be here in a second. So forms inside of the forms of liquidity, right? So what is buy side liquidity, right? So here's what you can focus on for buy side liquidity. The previous month's high, previous week's high, previous day's high, high of the day, the, you know, you know, there might be an old high or equal highs, right? Which it would be, you know, uh, that resistance, that retail resistance. So something similar like this, right? We, we see right here to the left where this X is, right? This move up, this buy, right? You might get confused that it might be a break of structure, right? But here's what's not to get confused with, right? What, what direction? is the higher time frame right i can't write what direction is the higher time frame is it bearish right so if there's a point of interest right here sitting just above this old high right which could be the previous month's high the previous week previous day the high of the day right an old high right and I'll show you some examples of that. And same with this one too, right? Equal highs. You see a high here. 
well, this could be, you know, a retail mindset form of resistance, right? So they could be selling right here <clears throat> with their stop loss, you know, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 pips above their entry here, which would cause the market to magnetize back up to the upside before selling again and breaking that structure right here, then for us to understand direction and look for entry off of just solely looking for buy side liquidity and then a, you know, a break of structure in the direction of the higher time frame, of course, right? In the direction of the higher time frame. So if if we're looking for buy side liquidity to be taken, right? If if the market went like this right here, like this, right? And you have a break of structure here. Well, that means that there's still something higher that the market has to reach towards. Right? So this wasn't a liquidity, this wasn't buy side of liquidity that was taken. This was a break in structure, right? And if you understand structure, you can enter here, understanding that you're not going to hold this trade forever. You, you have a higher time frame um, point of interest, right? Higher time frame point of interest. Okay, so yeah, that would be uh, buy side liquidity. Oh, here's some um, examples actually we can get into right here. <clears throat> so you see actually what we just talked about right here, we had equal highs, right? Retail could have been selling right here and buy side liquidity was taken, you see, in this gray box. But look, this is what I don't point out in this uh, PDF. And I did that purposely solely for, you know, this video, right? I wanted to explain in depth of what to really look at right here, right? So how to understand when liquidity is being captured and, you know, you're not looking for a break of structure, right? Look at this. You see this big up candle right here, right? This big up candle, right? And then the market immediately reverses to the downside. Same thing right here as well, right? We see this really consolidated market, right? It's really choppy. Um, you know, you could say, you know, one touch, two, three, four, five, right? Seven, six, seven, right? A, a, a retail could be entering here and stop losses are just above this high. So what would this be? Stop losses for selling, what would this be? buy side liquidity, right? Remember, right right here, buy side liquidity, and then break of structure, right? So same thing right here, you see in this gray box, buy side liquidity got taken and then reverse to the downside. Same thing here. We're gonna go through these examples pretty quick. I have a example on a chart that I would like to go over here pretty quick, but um, most of these examples are, uh, you know, the same. And um, thinking about sending out this uh, PDF. So if you'd like it, you know, just send me a DM on uh, Telegram. Probably the best place to get in contact with me and um you know if you're liking the video so far go ahead and give me a like subscribe comment down below um you know maybe where you learned about liquidity and if uh you got any insight from this video but yeah let's get into it so 
Yeah, it's the same. It's the same thing, right? So even though like we see that this liquidity didn't get, or uh, sorry, it, it did get taken, and you see the same behavior as well, right? Remember that big candle right here? Well, there it is again. There's my there's my friend again, right there, right? You see that around the oil high, but we don't need to enter just. You know, we don't need to chase this stuff here. What's going on here shouldn't, you know, we should pay attention to it, obviously, because we should know what's going on. And if, you know, you have had any questions for me in the past about liquidity, which is the purpose of this video, right, then you obviously want to know what's going on around this area. This is a, you know, a high volatile area. Right. And, you know, that's one thing that I like to look at for, uh, you know, necessarily supply and demand. Right. In, in a form. Right. Of high volatile areas. Right. If if I have a you know a point of interest here or here, it doesn't matter. Buy or sell. And um, I see price reach a certain area and it doesn't you know, it doesn't stay around that area like this for a while, right? It reaches that area and they immediately um, rejects away from that area. And, and then we look for, you know, certain areas for price to come back and, you know, give us those entries that we're looking for in the direction of maybe the higher time frame. So this candle right here is your friend when you're looking for liquidity. Efficiency fill right there. Um, yeah, buy side liquidity. And like I said, uh, you know, I want to go over a uh, actual chart right here, which we are in this PDF. But um, yeah, if you guys would like this PDF, just send me a DM on the uh, on uh, Telegram. I'll be glad to send it. And then um, next we have sell side liquidity. So what buy side liquidity was, right, is obviously the opposite. So we have buy side liquidity above, right? So here, <clears throat> we have sell side liquidity low. So what is sell side liquidity, right? What is this, right? Sell side liquidity is, you know, forms of previous month's low, previous week, previous day lo days low, excuse me, low of the day and old high and equal lows, right? And what equal highs was, right? was resistance but equal lows would be support right so we're just you know thinking of um a retail way of of thinking and then we're using the opposite of that to you know take that liquidity take that money right so we're looking at sell side liquidity here so what is sell side liquidity <clears throat> sell side liquidity would be buy pending orders right if people have a you know say say they put a buy stop or um sorry uh, excuse me a uh, buy limit right here right they should be setting their stop loss somewhere uh you know below it and now if people think that from here, price is going to break this structure here, they will set a pending order of a, uh, a uh, sell stop, a sell stop, right? So price will come down, activate that sell stop and this buy limit, and it'll shoot down exciting these 
people right here because they see blue, right? They're, they're selling. They, they think, oh, price broke out of this structure. We're good, right? And then the buy people get stopped out. These people, if they're smart, they put their stop loss at break even. Some of them probably leave their stop loss above and they get stopped out here, right? So a, a lot of the times liquidity can, um, a lot of the times liquidity, when, when it's captured, the, the market can reverse, right? A lot of the times, not every time, but a lot of the times. So yeah, let's look at some examples of sell side liquidity, right? Look right here, look. It was this big break of structure right here, right? That's perfect market structure. But look at what happens still. For some reason, right? Banks felt the need that they needed to shoot the market aggressively, aggressively to the downside, right? To capture this liquidity before breaking these highs, right? Right here. Okay, so sell side liquidity again. We saw an example similar like this on um, on uh, the buy side liquidity examples. We didn't go over it, but we can go over this one, right? So this could be uh, you know a previous week's um, high or a previous month or something on a, a lower time frame, obviously. But if you see how sensitive it is, right? Look at this first rejection right here. First off, first off, what I wanna point out actually is from this rejection, there was a pretty uh, significant rejection from this area, actually. Uh, could have been quite a bit of pips. Um, but look what happens here. Look at this. This is so intricate right here and so important, right? Previous whatever low, right? Previous month low, previous week's low, previous day's low, low of the day, previous day's low, whatever, right? An old low right here. And look, equal lows right here, right? You see those, All right? And look at look at just at this wick right here. Just captured that, and then reverses. It's crazy. Same thing again with those large candles, right? You see that momentum, okay? And there's a lot of smart money traders that talk about, you know, momentum, momentum. Moment. I'm not gonna spell it all out, but you, you know, there's a lot of traders that talk about this. Like they see a fast impulse down or a fast impulse up, and they think, well, "Watch out for momentum. It's 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 gonna it's gonna keep going this way," and then it starts to reverse again, right? And they enter somewhere down here on on a specific area, right? Maybe like this, right? They would have entered here. Right, but maybe the higher time frame was bullish. And anything below this is liquidity, right? We have we have sell side liquidity. Oh, I'm sorry, right here. Price shoots down. It doesn't just shoot down fast for no reason, right? Shoots down because it's magnetizing towards and an objective it's trying to get somewhere faster than you know what it normally would have uh you know got to right so yeah so side liquidity right stop hunt right a stop hunt is a movement used to neutralize liquidity right it's a false breakout and uh we just went over you know a good amount of these examples here, but it's a false breakout, 
above or below the zone of where liquidity is, right? Now, I did kind of, uh, you know, go a little crazy on this last page here. If you would like to read it, you can pause it. I'm not going to stop and um, read uh, this all to you guys. But yeah, if you guys would like to read this, once again, you can message me on Telegram and ask me for this liquidity PDF that I made or simply just pause the video and uh, yeah, you can read it from there. But yeah, last thing that I want to go over really is um, this setup right here in particular before we hop out of here, right? So basically everything that we just went over, right? on uh, liquidity, right? This example in particular, we are going over sell side liquidity. So we'll be looking for, you know, uh, bullish scenarios, but buying on the down moves, right? If that makes sense, buying on the down moves. So that doesn't mean buying on every down move, right? Now let's get into the example of what I mean. All right, we have a low here. Now we see that from this low here, we actually created a new high. And what happens here? Right, there's not really any, uh, I guess down here there is, right here. Um, and you're on the hourly time frame. So I guess if you were trying to buy here, you most certainly could have made some money, but there's there's not really any um, higher high or higher low here necessarily, because from this low to this high, we didn't break this structure here, right? So let me erase some of this. So since we didn't break this structure here, we're technically, we're not bullish yet, right? And if you look down here, right, last Thursday, and you see this dotted line here, which is the weekend, and then Monday. So we have the previous week's low. What a coincidence. What we just talked about, right? What we just went over, previous week's low. We see price shoot down towards that area and capture liquidity and look at the the uh look at the way look at the way price rejected out of this area right it 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 had one one hour wick right here and then immediately rejected out of this area immediately rejected out of this area and finally gave us those breaks of structure that we were looking for, right? Finally gave us a break of structure. Now, when we see a break of structure, right, we need to understand that this is the possible direction, right? This is the direction. We saw liquidity get captured. And then after liquidity, right, right here, right? After liquidity, we saw a huge impulse to the upside, breaking structure, okay? So we need to shift our bias to bias. But where do we, where do we look to enter, right? Well, there's a few things um, that you look for, right? It's the last, you know, you can look for the last up candle before a down move that gives you a break of structure. You can look for the last down candle before the up move that gives you a break of structure, right? It's always a break of structure. You, you, need, you need to always have direction in your trading. So always a break of structure, right? But yeah, last up candle before down move, last down candle before up move that gives you a break of structure. You can look for a break of structure and then inefficiency like this setup right here.
right here, you see this inefficiency from this wick to this wick. This candle right here was only buying, was only offering buys. So there's a huge gap, um, or I guess you could say a huge um, missed number. I don't know how to put it. There's a there's a huge um, gap in orders. Basically, there's more buying than selling in this market, right here, right. So sales are outnumbered in this market, if that makes sense, right. So price would be magnetized to come back here, right. It would be magnetized to sell back to this area and potentially be a a uh, potentially be a high volatile area right potentially and you see right here sure enough it rejects from that area very nicely so that is it for this video for this lesson on liquidity you guys have any questions you can always hit me up on a uh, telegram um, you can ask questions leave a comment down below give me a like and subscribe if you liked the video and um, yeah guys go and uh, going back to this this weekend right 30 minutes to an hour if you have more time put more time in right it's great it's only gonna help you in the future right so Yep. Once again, hope you guys had a uh, good week trading. Hope you guys have an even better weekend. And until next week, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.